Hi everyone, Charlie Briggs here again. Um, summer 22, I'm in France and I'm gonna do a overnight trip on my solar assist electric boat. So, we've got the solar panel as always, 50 watts. Uh, just upgraded the battery, the one in my uh, original video 2016. It's getting a bit old there, so um, just upgraded it to uh, another very similar battery. Sealed lead acid, 80 amp hours. That's my starting location, a stern over there. I'm going to be doing um, eight mile, eight miles ish, statute miles uh, along this lake, and then it's going to be another eight miles coming back. Uh, I'm hoping to go up to the source of the lake, roughly, do an overnighter, come back tomorrow. Going well so far. Speed three out of five. The solar panel. Um, boost range by between 10 and 15 percent uh, depending on conditions. I'm really glad that my original solar boat tutorial video has done well, kind of inspired me to and um, the boat's still going very strong. This motor's still fine, no servicing, had this um, five years now so I've got my oars, so I can row. Um, I can also switch a rollock to the back and uh, single oar scull over the stern as well, potentially. Sleeping gear that I haven't fully rehearsed, but um, I'll figure out a way to sleep either on the boat or on land. Got my anchor there, and obviously just provisions for 24 hours. Solar charge controller. Okay, I've rounded the first headland. Uh, been punching into stiff headwind the whole way so far. It's gonna be a headwind all the way heading north along this lake. So that's going to probably make me, yeah, well, they will make me run out of juice a lot earlier. So I'll probably be using the oars earlier than, um, than planned, but that was all part of the contingency, so it's all good. All right, so it's um, 25 past six. I started at half four. The wind's calming down a bit. I've made good progress, several miles. Coming to a point in the lake now where it forks off right or left. So I'm gonna continue left here, um, see how far I can get before uh, stopping for the night. Sun's up there, setting in the west. Uh, what I'll do as I continue along this, this area is stick to the east side, uh, try and get every last bit of sunlight I can on the solar panel, uh, get every extra minute of range I can. All right, so done several miles. It's getting uh, quite late now, 10 to 8 in the evening. I've got to this bend in the river where it's clearly, uh, sorry, bend in the lake where clearly it's now getting very narrow. So um, I won't be far from the source. Um, whether or not I continue progressing tonight, um, either way, I'm gonna land on this uh, beach over here. Just check over the boat and have a bit of a swim to cool off because um, I've been deliberately 
cruising in the sun all day to benefit the solar panel. So uh, it'd be nice to get refreshed with the water. Okay, so it's uh, quarter to nine, very late. I've got about half an hour of useful light left. So I think I've nearly made it to the source of this lake, but I'm just gonna have to stop and um, commit to a beach now for the night. I'm just looking for somewhere that's not too steep because pretty much everywhere here plummets very steeply into the water. Um, I think I'll probably, well, I'd like, probably sleep on the boat but it'd be nice to be able to be on land just to have more space to sort stuff out before I get back on the boat to sleep so yeah one of these beaches should be good enough all right found uh, somewhere that's just good enough still a bit steep but I can get okay footing to uh, take some stuff out the boat and make it easier to set up for the night so that's where I've come from and tomorrow I hope to uh, finish off reaching the source upstream, which is that way. Pretty much used up um, all the uh, safe, safe capacity for the battery. I've been about four and a quarter hours of motoring today, so that's, that's pretty good. With electric power, if in doubt with endurance, just uh, drop down speeds and you get much increased endurance is drag increases with the square root of the speed. So you can really benefit from dropping down the speed. Sun's gonna rise in the east, which is um, that way. So uh, should start solar charging from quite early in the morning. That's the plan. All right, so um, I'm floating on the boat at anchor just off the shore getting uh, some dinner together and then uh, got my bed ready to sleep on it. It was really comfortable when I tested it, so that was great. So I've got saucisson. It's uh, like a French equivalent of salami. I've got bread, melon, so that's gonna be good. All right, nice spot. Got the stars above in the sky. This is gonna be great, sleeping under the stars. Okay, see you in the morning. Morning everyone. So it's uh, was it eight o'clock. I've just had a coffee, a little fire here, and heated up these stones, which are now um, drying off my water shoes. Um, stones have a very high specific heat capacity, so if you heat them up with the fire, they stay hot for a long time after. Um, they're useful for drying things out. And uh, even still for boiling things. Um, so, after just having some breakfast and um, sorting out a couple of things, I'm going to continue um, continue the voyage that I was doing yesterday to the source. It shouldn't be much further left. And then I'm hoping, and it's already looking like it, that the... Uh, the wind situation will be the same as yesterday, so I'll actually be able to come downwind all the way back today. Um, it's going to have to be rowing initially. Um, I'll ha have um, a few hours of letting the solar panel top up the battery, and then I should have um, a little bit of a little bit of electric power for the last leg of the journey later on in good sun.
Well, I made it. Here it is. This is um, pretty much what I saw as being the source on the map. Uh, well, GPS maps. Those uh, tunnels there, um, they look pretty small from satellite view, but actually I might be able to get through there. So, um, yeah, the water level with the satellite view image date was much lower than this. So this was all pretty much dried out here. Um, so I can actually go a little bit further up. Um, so I'll spend some time exploring around here, I think. Well, I've um, gone probably about half a kilometre up uh, past the tunnel, and it just keeps going. So uh, I think I'm going to have to turn back now and start heading home because, yeah, <laughs> what's the time? It's uh, coming up to half ten in the morning, so uh, yeah, I've really got to get back, got to be back by sort of early evening. Um, but yeah, I'd, I'd say this is definitely, it's getting shallower rapidly, so this is the source of the lake. Time to head back. Alright, well, a good progress back towards home, uh, rowing. Going that way. Sun's got pretty high now, it's uh, 12 o'clock. And it, yeah, it's difficult rowing in the heat. So I've got myself anchored off for lunch. Um, anchor out there in a line to the shore there. So I've got myself in the shade and I've got the solar panel in the sun. Still charging up the battery. What about 12.6 to 12.7 volts at the moment um, under charge. The panel's putting in probably between two and two and a half amps. Wait here for a bit before continuing. Just had a bit of a break in the shade and continuing now with a bit of power, speed one, because I've had some time to uh, solar charge can't push it, speed one only, because I'm still on the um, bottom, probably bottom uh, 10 percentile or so of uh, safe battery usage, but good to take a break while it's so hot and while the uh, solar panel's doing the most work. I have been really unlucky with the wind. This has turned out to be a headwind in the return journey. So I had a headwind on the way out yesterday, and then it uh, flipped 180 degrees and now it's a headwind on the way back as well. So that really sucks. But I can make it home with the with the oars come what may if I really need to that way.
well that's it i made it i'm back it's been a really good trip um 16 miles that's by far the longest i've ever done with this boat in reality it was probably a bit longer than that because of all the exploring and meandering and so on um, this uh, system has worked out super well super well indeed because i've been dealing with um big headwinds there big headwind back worst case scenario there but it still managed um i've motored in now with um still a safe reserve for the battery without damaging it so that's a really good result but i have been using speed one out of five uh, which is very slow um for a long time it's the best way to do it really if you're if you don't think you're going to make it with the energy left um also rowing helped a lot so i probably would not have gone on this type this distance uh, trip with this electric setup without the oars they were definitely a, a required contingency um, and obviously sculling was helpful earlier on with the tunnels and so on uh, great trip thanks for watching see you in the next video bye bye